Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued an order to distribute Eid al Fitr gifts to all widows and orphans who are registered with the Royal Humanitarian Foundation. His Majesty directed the RHF, led by His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, national security advisor, and chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and chairman of the RHF Board of Trustees. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa to oversee the distribution of the royal gifts to all the beneficiaries. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad extended deepest congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on Eid al Fitr, wishing His Majesty health and happiness and wishing Bahrain safety. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised His Majesty the King's keen interest in the welfare of the RHF sponsored families. His sharing various occasions with them, including Eid al-Fitr and his directives to provide services and care for those in need. The RHF Secretary General, Dr. Mustafa Sayyid, extended sincere congratulations to His Majesty the King and His Highness Sheikh Nasser on the Eid al-Fitr occasion. He said that His Majesty King Hamad is always keen to provide all kinds of care for the citizens, particularly widows and orphans, citing the constant royal directives to provide them with various services. Dr. Sayyid affirmed that the annual royal kind gesture is in line with His Majesty the King's keenness in supporting RHF-sponsored families and his desire to share with them the joy of Eid al-Fitr. He added that His Majesty the King is keen on providing all kinds of care to the citizens under various circumstances. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed pride in Bahrain's success in maintaining its top position in the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation World Mixed Martial Arts Association ranking in 2020, stressing that the Kingdom has achieved great success in the field of mixed martial arts during the last four years. His Honor Sheikh Khaled said that the vision of forming the Khaled bin Hamad Mixed Martial Arts Team KHK MMA for amateurs and professionals was accomplished in 2015 with the goal of reaching an international status. He added that Bahrain's mixed martial arts sport has managed to win 89 medals including 35 gold, 17 silver and 34 bronze during their participation in various major events, notably winning the Asian Mixed Martial Arts Open Championship title, in addition to securing second and third place in the African Open Championship. His Highness continued to state that the international recognition and high reputation of Bahrain's mixed martial arts sport is due to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, as well as the backing of His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian works and youth affairs national security advisor and chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Sheikh Khalid asserted his keenness to support Bahraini youth and encourage them to practice the sport, which resulted in seeing many Bahraini fighters top podiums as part of the KHK MMA team and the national team. His Highness said that Bahrain has managed to win the International Mixed Martial Art Federation's confidence after hosting the World Championship for three years in a row, starting from 2017. His Highness also revealed that he had instructed the KHK Sports to collaborate with the KHK MMA team to launch a development program to incubate fighters and hone their skills.
The Kingdom of Bahrain's embassy in the United Kingdom, in cooperation with the Bahrain All Party Parliamentary Group, APPG, hosted a webinar to discuss the Kingdom's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Members of the Parliamentary Group, MPs and Lords, led by the Deputy Speaker of the British House of Commons, Nigel Evans, UK Special Envoy for Freedom of Religion or Belief, Rahman Kishi, and Shadow Minister of Defence Khaled Mahmoud, in addition to a group of politicians and MPs, participated in the webinar. The participants hailed the efforts exerted by the Kingdom of Bahrain in fighting the coronavirus pandemic, praising its cooperation in facilitating the return of UK nationals from the Kingdom of Bahrain. Bahrain's ambassador to the United Kingdom, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, welcomed the active participation of British MPs and Lords in this event, which he said reflects the depth of the cooperation relations between the two kingdoms. He highlighted the efforts and achievements of the kingdom in the field of combating the virus, which received international recognition. He also noted that the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain is keen to take all measures necessary to ensure the safety of all citizens and residents. The UK ambassador to Bahrain, Roderick Drummond, valued the cooperation of the Kingdom of Bahrain in facilitating the return of British nationals from the Republic of India and other countries through Bahrain International Airport. He added that the British nationals in the Kingdom of Bahrain are comfortable with the health care and support provided to them by the Kingdom. The CEO of the Labour Market Regulatory Authority and Chairman of the National Committee to Combat Trafficking in Persons, Usama Al Absi, also highlighted the measures taken by the Kingdom of Bahrain, especially regarding examining and treating the expatriate workers and covering all costs incurred for such procedures, in addition to the other efforts exerted in this regard. The chairman of the Bahrain APPG, Bob Stewart, commended the efforts of the embassy in hosting the webinar, noting the importance of learning from Bahrain experience in the field of combating COVID-19. The Directorate of Social Assistance at the Ministry of Labor and Social Development, Sahar al manai said that the total electronic services that have been offered to citizens to facilitate welfare policies, social insurance, financial aid, support for the disabled and compensation for burned houses have totaled 15,529 Bahraini dinars during the period of March 18 until the end of the month of April. The services come at a time when the safety of all is a top priority, including the beneficiaries of these services. Al Manai added that all necessary precautions to contain the outbreak of the coronavirus are being followed, which ensures the safety of citizens as they receive the ministry's various services electronically or over the phone. The Ministry of Health announced that the number of the coronavirus active cases reached 3,931, with 12 deaths registered. A total of 2,640 patients have recovered from the virus with three in critical condition. The total number of confirmed cases in the Kingdom now stands at 6,583. The Minister of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules and affirm the importance of following instructions such as washing one's hand with soap on a regular basis along with avoiding shaking hands and close contact. Moreover, covering the nose and the mouth when sneezing and avoiding public spaces when possible.